Hi guys. Um, today's right is Wednesday, and um, I'm not going to stick to the podcast um, plan that I have. But this time I'm going to do like a chat about why. So I, I, when I look to the site, it's because I've got some notes to notes to for this one. Why do psychiatric hospitals slash institutions um, prevalent in horror movies and books? A lot of what happens within the halls of hospitals is secretive, causing people to imagine the worst, which is true. It happens with anybody who's inside one of those places. Now, it's common for people to wonder what happens within the halls, etc. And it does bring to mind not the best situations. But at the end of the day, these, these, these institutions are there for... The well-being and the health of others. Um, I may not agree with everything that they do and a lot of the practices that they do, but at the end of the day, they're there to do a job, and that job is to help other people. Hospitals are housed dangerous and not notorious people and killers who cause apprehension within other people. Now, over here in the UK, we have a very very famous hospital called Broadmoor and uh, there's a lot of people in Broadmoor that aren't severely dangerous however there is still people um, inside Broadmoor that are completely dangerous we had one that died the last week which was Ian Bray who's one of the Moors murderers then we have Peter Sutcliffe and there are more there are a lot more people that are in the, so the, inside that hospital that are dangerous and as a result of that, we often, you know, wonder what's going on, what's going on, what's going on. And the fact that they, at one point, were everywhere. It makes you think, well, you know, what's going on type of thing. Because here in York, uh, we have two. Um, and we have Bootham and we have the retreat. Now, Brutham at the minute is shut down. Um, it's been refurbished, I think. Um, but the retreat is still open. And it, the retreat is a huge compound. So, Some stories reveal, revealed show that people are still dangerous despite medication. Um, this happens in almost every hospital. Any, any, anywhere where somebody is... Um, dangerous for example I use um, Peter Sutcliffe because he's still alive Peter Sutcliffe who's also known as the Audrey Ripper is a nasty piece of work and he's still in Broadmoor because he is extremely unhinged um, Ian Brady had been in Broadmoor I think since the 70s so yeah he was very dangerous as well but like I say he died last week um, and the fact that these people are still seen as dangerous years later. Mental illness treatment options are sometimes barbaric. Now, I'm going back to the old way of doing things, although I know one of these is still used, which is um, electroconvulsive therapy, which I don't agree with, but that's just my opinion. Then there's the lobotomy, then there's the insulin comas, then there's, oh, there's all sorts. My knowledge of psychiatric hospitals is um, definitely comprehensive and definitely still much in it. Um, anything can happen with the type of patients that they have and the variety of patients that they have. And it is common for people to um, attack each other in these hospitals especially if it's say somebody who killed children like Ian Brady um, so. spot a history and issues with the treatments both past and present can cause people to be scared about what, what goes on inside the halls now um, a lot of the time these treatments are done in the best interest of the patient 
but a lot of the time these treatments are extremely dangerous so also this is i'm going to use another killer as an example on this one which is manipulative inmates uh, we all know the story of edmund kemper where he was in an institute for killing his grandparents and um, he got out because he manipulated the doctors that were treating him and he got out killed everybody else and he's back inside an institution they are creepy as fuck and dangerous as fuck um, now I'll use Bootham as an example Bootham is a hospital here in York and it's sort of but not attached to the main hospital of York City um, because the back end of it sort of backs onto the main hospital and you've got this huge big grass verge between the main road which you've got down with them and the hospital this big bright orange brick building with white pillars and it is just spooky as hell most hospitals are which is why they are used in books and it is why they are used in films because they are one of the most spookiest institutions on this planet needed but spooky as hell so that is that um on i've forgotten what's on next week's list but hopefully it will be a good topic um i would look but it's underneath the camera so i can't um so with that being said i'm gonna sign off talk to you soon stay safe have fun and goodbye